How to design a handicap washroom by Zobet Architecture. Introduction This presentation is part of a series of short information sessions covering the topic of barrier-free design. Our reference is the National Building Code of Canada. What you learn, minimum design requirements of a barrier-free washroom based on the National Building Code of Canada, dimensional requirements and clearances. About the presenter. Architect Joanne Zoletta has over 20 years of experience in the industry. She is currently licensed in Canada in five provinces in Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, Ontario, and Saskatchewan. And here are my certificates showing um, my licensure in, in Canada. Table of contents. We'll discuss a barrier-free layout and minimum dimension requirements. Barrier-free layout and what you have here is a typical floor plan for a handicap washer. So a barrier-free layout will have a minimum dimension of 18 inches from center of your lavatory to your side wall and 18 inches from the center of the toilet to your side wall. It should have a turnaround of 5 feet width. It's a circle and this circle should be free of all impediments or obstructions. You, could, you also should use the one foot, two foot rule at the door approach, which is when you're approaching the door from the outside at the hinge, it should be one foot clear. And when you are approaching the door from the inside at the hinge, it should be two feet clear. What we have here is the elevation of a barrier-free washroom with your toilet on the right side and then your mirror and your lavatory on the left side. The minimum dimension is 18 inches from center of your lavatory to your side wall. And this is the same, 18 inches for center of your mirror to your side wall. And then 18 inches for, for your toilet to a side wall. Plumbing fixture clearances. So we've got an elevation here showing a few dimensions, which is two foot and four clear for underneath the lavatory or the sink. Two foot 10 for the height of the counter. And then three foot three or a meter for the bottom of your mirror. On the other side of the toilet, on the, you could see that we need one foot three, and that is actually the toilet seat height. So, more on the plumbing fixture clearances. From the other side, you will get two foot four of height of toilet, and 
the toilet seat is one foot three. We also show here the dimensions for the bar, which is normally two feet, the length of the bar, the horizontal bar, and two feet, the angular, which is 60 degrees. So this bar also might change. Um, you can have a 90 degree bar. In summary, what we have discussed here is a typical barrier fill layout, and we have shown some minimum dimensions and clearances and plumbing fixtures. I hope that you have gained knowledge from this session. If you need a certification letter for these information sessions, let us know. Feel free to contact me at info at zoletaarchitecture.com. Take care and have a good day. Thank you.